Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about my biblical diary about work or at work. Basically, this is oh, this is the first video I'm doing of of a video diary from what from what, from what I vaguely recall. I don't think I've done one before. Basically, it's you know it's a it's a true testimony. So I just thought I'd just do it because it would be interesting to to do I thought a video a video about what happened to me yesterday in this in this in this job basically I I currently work at the moment with with air, with Airbnb you know and and before I go any further sorry I haven't shaved properly it's just that I haven't you know I, I was basically very very tired after work yesterday and I just haven't got around to doing it because I, I had a number of n a number of things to do before actually, before actually, before I actually could could go to bed. But I didn't get to do it because I had a, num a lot of other things to do as well. Some some things as well as my sh as well as me not as well as me not shaving. I just basically I just basically I basically just left it and uh, basically left it with with a number of other things. So yeah, but I suppose it shows its authentic authenticity of what I look like at work. So basically, yeah, Airbnb. Basically, I I currently work for them and I'm, and I'm on a trial. I think it's a short trial. But basically, what it is is that how how I got them, how I got recruited by them is basically because I think because. As most people know, Airbnb uh, are a popular company. I've I've heard about I've heard about them before myself. I've, the name sounded familiar in my mind, and uh, and I just thought and I just thought you know and I and I and I, and I didn't really properly knew them actually. To be honest, you never never investigated the company properly. But yeah, the way how I way how I got this job was basically they was yeah basically they they um no no not they I mean basically what I did was I put I put on I put an ad on on Gumtree advertising myself as and the ad is still there for the time being the ad is currently currently eight days old. And basically, I put the, the title of the ad was "What it is is urgently, urgently, Ricardo Coke needs to start a job this week." And it's got more than a few exclamation marks on it. So let me read you out the job description. So it says, it, it says basically, it says, it says. Hi, thanks for reading my ad. Please, please, I need, I need to start a, a start a general. Sorry, please, I need to start any general job this week. In. In, d in the or around the. D uh, as in the area, and and I said and I said. And I said. And I said also, not not on a short term, not on a not not on a short terms, not sorry, not on short terms, a minimum of three years, please. Full stop. Only reply and communicate by what I have put uh, put out on this ad, please. Full stop. Help yourselves to looking at my CV. Thanks again, Ricardo Coke. And I put my, mo my mobile number down there. And it says, P.S. Will you only be drive? P.S. Will only be driving in 20 20 in 2017. Could do it earlier. It depends on if I am driving on driving only for the job. And I put and and, uh, and below this I've put about a bit over two pages 
or sorry, a, a close to two pages of my CV, and yeah. So yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, so that that's what I did about the um the ad, and w what what happened was. I basically put the ad up in that within that week. I think it could have been Wednesday, but you can count it back from from today, eight days ago, from this date. Eight, so eight days. So basically, I put it. I did that. The ad was the, the ad was up in that week, but within, but basically, they must have within the same week they communicated with me. They called me up, and uh, they called me up, and and. And said and interviewed me very very quickly, very very briefly. Asked me a couple of a few questions. You know, this is A&B Airbnb. They called me. They said, you know, would you like to, you know, this can you work weekends? I said, yeah, I can work weekends. And then they said, they said, are you happy being paid eight eight pounds an hour? Because it was eight pounds an hour at that time, but it's changed. And then they. And then, and then I said yes, I'm happy with that. And then they said, and then they, and she, then she said, the lady said, somebody will call you, my, somebody will call you to, to interview you. Same, will call you to interview you later. Will call you to interview you later. Then I said, you know, and I said yeah, that's okay. And then, and then the same day as well, not long, not not. Well, not maybe a few hours after, but not long. But I'm not sure how long. But it wasn't long at all. They, the lady, late another lady called me, and this was this was this was a lady named this was named a lady called Barely or Barrow. Um, and she she basically she basically interviewed me in a, in a little bit a little bit more detail, but not. But not heavily, and not long either, and just basically went through with me about what I'll be doing and stuff like that. Just basic stuff, what I'll be doing. So basically, because what I what my job was is 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 is, ba is basically is basically cleaning cleaning uh, cleaning cleaning bed beddings and what else. What else? And clean the toilet lightly, and the and the and the rest of the rest of the rest of the flat just light 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 work. And yeah. And so yeah yeah basically yeah that's so w when she described it to me and, th and then she basically said you know she basically said uh, she said I'm gonna, I'm gonna email you the details because we've got we've got some work for you starting tomorrow. And this was on like the, I think this was this this would have been, this would have been the twenty the twenty seventh. So basically, she emailed me those details, and yeah, she I think she emailed me the details on the on the twenty eighth twenty eighth of June, twenty sixteen, and then. And then yeah, that that's that was literally that was literally that was literally it. You know, I started work from Saturday to Sunday, and I and I did Monday, and I, did, and I just had a break because I needed to do some stuff. And yeah, then and then I then I started work again on on Thursday, Thursday yesterday. But what really happened yesterday was that um because a few times I've actually doubt because because I didn't know about the job, I didn't know. Not not no well, I didn't know about the company, not about the job, but I didn't know about the company and what they were and, they were, and what they were like, you know, because because it wasn't like one of your typical registrations for a job. They just they they it wasn't they didn't ask for my my um NI number and stuff like that, but because they because because they. They um because 
because they just interview me over the phone and not did the typical registration of you know like I said NI number and passport and you know whether you're, you're whether you're a British citizen or something you know things typical things like that you know I, I started to get a bit dodgy sorry I started to get a bit I started to think a bit dodgy I, I did think I did think it was a bit of a dodgy job didn't think it was genuine because you know when you put when you put ads on, ads on Gumtree it is guaranteed whether you wh you'll get you'll get some fraudsters some dodgy wha whacking whacking people you know trying to steal your money so you know it is guaranteed whenever you put an ad on Gumtree you will get that some 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 fraud from some fraudsters at least at least one so yeah basically the the ad basically so when I was doing the work like yes when I was doing the work 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 yesterday some some pe some the cut the the visitors the guests were that was there before with 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 um with children with with a family a fam a family they basically left the place in a bit of a tip and basically they they um they just left and left and I, and I had to because when you when you're there doing the work you're doing it on your own you're managing the whole thing. And I had three, 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 three flats to manage, or probably, or three flats at a time to manage, and they left the place in a tip. And this family, and they basically, and I, had to, and I had to spend like three hours because I had, I had a scheduled time to finish, which is do it, do it in three hours, do the job in three hours. And I think I was, I'm guessing I was actually a bit longer than that because I had to clean up after their 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 mess because it was it was heavily dirty Re yeah basic so basically so yeah that's that's so when I was doing it I was I was getting a bit doubtful about them and and basically when I was starting to get doubtful about them you know I think it was I think it was you know, I was, to, I was basically trying to look. I was trying to look for another number from a previous recruiter that was offering me a job. And, you know, I didn't really like the job that they were offering me in the in the in the in the health and social care because I was looking for numbers whilst I had my phone with me at, the, at work because I thought they were a bit they were a bit dodgy. Um, Airbnb that is, and then basically, what? whilst I was looking for it, I couldn't really find a number and and I think I do believe that you know God does God God just distracted me from looking for the number so eventually eventually I just left it because I was calling a few numbers out I was calling a few numbers just to, just to see if just to see if I can get someone to get to book an interview for another job or something or registration for another job so basically you know in that, in in the midst of that, or after that, you know, God just directed me, just directed me, and just said and and, and encouraged and encouraged me just to say, you know, Junior, Junior, this job isn't dodgy, you know, it's 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 genu it's genuine, it's it's genuine. So basically, I just left it, and because there's there's been a new, there was been there's been a numerous amount of times where where I just where I just thought, you know. This this job is dodgy. I was doubt I was doubting the job, or I was doubting whether I couldn't do it, do the job or not. And I just you know, and I re and I just stuck with it and just and when I was reviewing it, when I was re reviewing at the end of the day, I realized that you know, you know, I realized that as I was as I was reviewing it, you know. I, I just, I just thought, you know, you know, you know, I just thought to myself, you know, Ricardo, you're here, you've got a, you've got a really good, decent job, you know, it's not, it's not heavy cleaning, like, 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 
like I thought it would have been in the in the in the beginning. But you you or similar to that word those words, and I just I just thought you know I just thought to myself I'm just gonna stick to it until until I find out what I'm until I until I'm back on what I'm usually doing and what I'm usually called to do, which is basically just doing videos, recording videos, because you know as God said to me in the past. Gent gently said to me in the past, you know, you know, he actually he actually said that you know, YouTube is my job, you know, it, it's my it's my career. So yeah. So you know. So yeah, that. So I just stuck with it, and I just thought. I just thought let me let me just do this diary this video video diary and just and see what happens from there and yeah so my mind's going blank so I think I'm just trying to think what else I can say yeah that's 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 literally it really and you know I'm just I'm just gonna try and do 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 my best with this job and just try and plow on with it until until I can find until I can find somewhere somewhere secure to live you know until until basically I'm just trying to I'm basically just gonna go out, just gonna go out there and head head for a head for a part by part rent scheme in in a in a in a in a flat of some sort and then I'm just gonna, just gonna make sure that when I move, I make sure that I, that I actually, that I actually own the, own the place, instead of actually, instead of actually, renting it out, because there's so many dodgy, dodgy landlords out there, and you know, it, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure there are some dodgy landlords out there, and they. Because I haven't, I've, I haven't experienced any yet, any yet anyway. But I'm, but I'm sure there are, and they're just, they're just waiting and willing to steal your money. And you know, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's really it. So just. Show. I was just reading something so yeah basically that's that's really all that's really all I have to say for this video so yeah you know and before I go there's been there's been plenty plenty of times when I've just been been just worried and just bothered about the job and stuff like that and just stressed about it as well so yeah so that's really all I have to say for this video so I hope this helps anyone or en and, and encourage encourages you guys and gals so that's it God bless take care peace be with you ciao